Hello and welcome. In this video, I have picked up another topic of automation on automatic credit limit for customers. Credit limit or update of credit limit or credit control has always been a key point in any business, right? And especially where customers are huge in numbers to maintain current limit, credit limit and within time frame, periodically or weekly or monthly, it has always been a challenging work for the business. It requires a lot of time and a lot of effort to update the credit limit for all the customers. Let's see how we can automate this process in Microsoft Dynamics System Finance and Operation, where credit limit will be automatically updated based on the criteria which is defined in the configuration. Let's see. Before I jump into the system demo and system configuration, I would like to talk about the concept, how it is done, how this automation is done in Microsoft Dynamics Institute of Finance and Operations. So for any other automation in any business process, we always need to have a history and the structural way of working and some setup based on the structural way. So that's how the automation works. Here also the same thing. The first thing in the setup, uh, so I have bifurcated two aspects. So one is setup and one is process. So in the setup, if I talk about the framework or if I talk about the you know concept of this automation setup, the first thing we need to uh, configure is we need to update some risk score based on some various criteria. So example, say suppose a customer is with us as a customer uh, from two years, three years, four years. So we can bifurcate the risk score if the customer is with us for say suppose, uh, you know, from one year, then our risk score is high because we have not built that relationship in one year. So for that case, my risk score will be higher. Similarly, if I have the relation, uh, you know, with my customer for more than 10 years, definitely the relationship is more. That means the risk is less for that customer. So that based on these type of criteria, we update the risk score. And based on the risk score, the next part is to set the credit limit. <clears throat> so if I talk about the setup in broader picture, the first thing we need to create some risk score, which is, you know, uh, maybe a accounting policy which is a organizational wise we can have multiple risk scores based on some various criteria like I give a given example says of customer scenes okay average pay payment days right if the customer is falling under this credit group then it means it's the high risk if the customer is falling under an another grade group that means it's the less less group so these are the type of criteria which is we need to define based on the risk based on the criteria we need to have the risk score and after that, we will set up the credit score, credit limit based on the risk score. So that is the two aspect of setup. So this is the broader picture. Okay. So once this risk score is the setup is done in the system, then we have a bad job which runs the risk score in the customer master. So one, we have created the risk score. We have updated the credit limit based on the risk score in the backend. So system will always, so we can configure that bad job, that system will always update the risk score, okay, in the customer master. Then the next part is that when periodically or maybe uh, weekly or monthly, whenever the credit limit, you know, needs to be revised, customer or the organization does not require to, you know, create the credit limit manually. They will just create the generate credit limit and based on this credit limit, you know set up and based on the risk code updated in the customer master the credit limit will be generated automatically so this is the overall overview of the automatic or automation of credit limit update in customer master so now i will talk about the same thing i will uh, talk about the same thing in the system how we can configure this okay let's see so now in microsoft dynamics system of finance and operations okay the first thing we will do we will create risk scores, risk group, and we will add the credit limit based on the risk scores and group. Okay, how to do that? Okay, under credit and collection module, there is a form called risk. Under risk, we have scoring groups, we have risk classification, we have automatic credit limits. Let's see. First, we will discuss about the scoring group. So I have created a scoring group. So what I have done, I 
have taken a criteria called customer scenes. Like I have, an, I have given already uh, that example that if the customer is with the organization uh, from zero to one year, that means we don't know about uh, the customer's credit history, right? So for that case, the organization has decided it is a high risk. So the risk contribution, the risk score will always be high. Similarly, from two to three years, <coughs> if the customer is with uh, the organization, uh, I mean, they are taking our or the organization's product or services from two to three years, then the risk will comparatively be lower than the previous one. Similarly, for four to five years and six to 12 years. So for six to 12 years, this is very less, uh, very less risk, <coughs> okay? As for the business scenario, so that I have added the risk is very low, it is one. For four to five years, the risk is still there, but it is lower, which is six. So this is a risk contribution score based on the criteria we have selected. So if I talk about the other criteria which we have, if you can see this is a standard criteria called average payment days, customer scenes, bin business scenes, very common is country, account status, credit management group. So based on this, you can define your risk scores. <coughs> For this demo, I have taken the customer scenes criteria. So where this customer scenes criteria uh, is available, so if you go to customer master, <coughs> okay, under credit and collection module or credit and collection tab okay you will see this customer scenes feed so that uh, organization is to update it from when the customer is with the organization so here i have already added this as a in the list form so if you see this first customer is with us with organization from 2022 more than one year 2021 the second customer more than two years 20, 3 years, 19, 4 years, 18. So like this, this gets calculated. So we just need to add the date from when the customer is there with the organization. Okay. And based on that, the risk score is updated in the setup. The next part of the setup is risk classification. So as we mentioned that we have updated the risk contribution score based on the criteria. So now, it's time to define the risk which is high low or medium so here i have added that high high means 9 to 10 as a risk score medium means 6 to 8 as a risk score and low means 0 to 5 as a risk score okay don't get confused based on the years which you have defined there what we are discussing is score not the value value is 1 to 2 years 3 to 4 years right if i just go to there See here, risk score. I am talking about the risk score, not the value. So if I, you know, go to risk classification, what I have defined is, if the risk score is nine to ten, that means the red, high, and falling under high. So I have created as a configuration. These are all configuration we can do. Okay, from here you just give the indicator. It's very similar to the aging period definition. Okay. Once it is done, our scoring group and risk classification is done. Now what we need to do, we need to update the credit score. Oh, sorry, uh, credit limit. So here in this risk, under the risk, we have another form called automatic credit limits. So here we will add the automatic credit limit based on the risk score. So as I mentioned, we have defined three different, different risk criteria, classification, which is high, low, or medium. So in this high, now, if you see, I have selected this coding group called CS, which we have created at first. So what I have said or what I have defined in the system that if my risk group, risk classification is high, then if my scoring group, customer scenes is zero. <clears throat> so now I am talking about the value, not score, remember. So if I duplicate this form, <clears throat> I will go to, I will navigate to, uh, risk classification and then I will go I will just open another window called scoring group so that we can understand it better otherwise you will get confused <coughs> so I will go to scoring groups so what I am saying to the system that if my risk classification is high high means what my risk score should be 9 to 10 okay then I will select this group if my customer scenes the value is zero means customer is with us within one year 
from the one, I mean, from last year, they have <clears throat> come and uh, we have created the customer in the system. And then next second criteria I have given, if that is more than one year, the customer is with us is more than one year, the credit limit should be one, one, 100,000. If the customer is with us uh, is less than one year, then the credit limit should be 50,000. Because as you know, the these customers are very new to us, right? Very new to the organization. So that means we cannot give more credit to this customer because there is a high risk. We don't know. Even if the customer is having a very good, uh, you know, credit history based on their profile, maybe they are operating their business uh, from, you know, 10, 12 years back from 12, 12 years. However, we don't know about them. And they have come to our business or they have come to, you know, buy from us from zero to one year or so very recently. That's why the credit limit should always be less. But it, it all depends on the organization policies, configuration <coughs> totally. Okay. The next thing what I have done is low. If the risk is low, means low, low means zero to five as a risk score. And here, if <coughs> the customer is with us more than six years, then my credit limit will be higher, which is one million. Similarly, in the medium criteria, I have defined a couple of things. If the risk group, risk classification is medium, medium is what? If I go to the another page, which is 6 to 8 as a uh, <clears throat> risk score, then under that credit limit group, if the customer is with, with us more than uh, for more than two years, then my credit limit will be 150,000. Okay. And similarly, for two, three years, 200,000. For four years, it's three, uh, 300,000. If it is more, if it is more than five years, then it is 500,000. Okay. So that's what we have defined the credit limit. <clears throat> so this all about the configuration we have done. So if I recap, what I have, what we have done, we have created group, risk group. And then we have selected the criteria called customer since from when the customer is with the organization. And we have defined the risk score. Okay. Based on that, we have created the risk classification. Okay. And based on the risk classification, we have created the automatic credit limits setup. And here we have defined the, you know, uh, many stages or many criteria. Based on that, we have given the credit limit. So that is the one time setup. Okay, we need to do and based on that, the risk score will be updated into the customer master and we can generate the automatic credit limit based on the risk score. So that is all about the setup. Okay. Now, what we will do, we will, so now as of now, we have created the setup, but still we have a, we have a job to update the customer master card. So from where we can see the risk score in the customer master because we have updated this customer since data, right? And we expect that it will be updated either manually or, you know, uh, by some batch. So what we can do here. So this is the risk score page from where we can see the risk score. So before that, to update the risk score in credit and collection module, we have an automatic batch, which is uh, under periodic task. Okay. Under credit management. Here, update risk scores. So here you can create a batch to update the risk score. And so you can keep, you know, in daily basis or, you know, weekly basis or whatever you want to have. So that this batch will update the customer risk score based on, uh, you know, some criteria which we have defined in the risk group. If it is, say, suppose you are taking uh, as a uh, criteria called average payment days, that means it has to be updated very frequently right automatically it will be updated so i have created i have updated that batch and let's see to the customer master so here this customer is with us from 1 1 2022 and i'm creating this video which is uh, on 25th of november 2023 so it is more than one year so let's see the risk score so un under the credit management page action pane we have a risk score so here if you see it's already updated. The reason why it is updated because I have already created the batch. It is automatically updated. So if you, if you see, the risk score is 10. 
okay and risk group is high why because this customer is only more than one years not more than that so risk group which you have created which is coming under high and the risk score is 10 but the value is 1 so if i go to the uh, automatic credit limit setup okay automatic credit limits and here if you see the high one so what we have said that if it is 1 then my credit limit should be 100000 the same thing here what they have done they have already updated the risk score or risk score value okay similarly if you go to the next one the risk score you will see the value is 2 the reason is it is coming from 2021 it is more than two years okay so uh, system has already has this setup and based on that system has updated the risk score okay so you are all done now what we need to do we just need to uh, you know go to uh, credit and collection module and credit limit adjustment and here now we will process the automatic credit limit so you can create new journal here and we will create lines and here as a you know manual creation we select customer or customer group and i update the credit limit manually but here as part of automation we don't need to do that what we will do we will select generate we will select automatic credit limits we can give right we can give criteria as well but i want system to calculate the credit limit for every customer okay whatever the customer it is based on the scenario based on the risk score it will calculate so i will click okay and system is checking the risk score and based on that the automatic credit limit will be updated so now you see the magic the first customer was falling under one right one year so what we have said for if it is one year the credit limit must be 100,000 right for that you see the 100,000 this customer was from two years and in the two years what we have said in the medium criteria for the two years it is 150,000 exactly same thing this has updated and so on and so forth if you see this customer was uh, from three years right if you see the three years criteria, it is 200,000 credit limit. And the same thing, system has updated automatically. So, this is basically the automatic credit limit, the automation of updating the credit limit based on the criteria which is defined in the setup. Okay. So, this is what I wanted to showcase that how easily you can establish a process where you can have some criteria and you update that into the setup structure I structure you know make it structured business process flow in the setup itself then system will do its job it will automatically create the new credit limit based on the criteria so that's it I wanted to showcase in as part of this video this has been another automation in the ERP okay so yeah thanks for watching stay tuned for another video like this bye for now